welcome back. I'm so happy to see you guys again. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about two men named Paul and Silas. But before we do that, what do we do before every lesson? That's right, we pray. So let's have our praying hands, let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for keeping us safe. Please help us obey you and help us obey our mommies and daddies and help us be kind to everyone, Lord. Thank you so much for giving us everything we have. Please keep us safe and help us be lights of the world. In your name we pray, amen. So, like I said in the beginning, we're gonna talk about two men, Paul and Silas, okay? So a long time ago, there were these two men, Paul and Silas, and they were really good friends, okay? Paul and Silas really, really loved God. Okay, they loved God and they would teach people about him and they would help heal people and they would do God's work and they would help the poor and they would help anyone who was sick or anyone who needed, who wanted their help, they would help. Okay, because they were doing God's work. So Paul and Silas would walk through different cities and they would travel and they would help different people. But because Paul and Silas were doing God's work and they loved God, there were really mean people who didn't like them. And these mean people really wanted to hurt them. So one day when Paul and Silas were helping a woman, these mean people got them and they threw them in prison. Prison is where they put bad people. But Paul and Silas were not bad people. They were just doing God's work and people didn't like this. So they got sent to prison. So Paul and Silas went to prison and obviously they were really sad because they were like, hey, we don't deserve this. But you know who they put their trust in? That's right. They put their trust in God. So even though Paul and Silas were thrown in prison, even when they didn't deserve it, they put their trust in God. Okay, so one night when they were still in prison, you know, they were locked up, they, they had their hands locked up like this, they started singing, just like we sing at church, Paul and Silas started singing in the, in the prison, okay, and they were just singing, they were praising God, and all of a sudden, the prison wall started shaking, and rocks started falling, and before you knew it, their chains fell off. The prison had completely been destroyed and all of the all of the gates just flung open. And you know what that means? That means that everyone who was in the prison could easily get out. Yeah, isn't that weird? So all of the bad guys that were in the prison and then Paul and Silas, their chains break broke off. So they, they could just leave whenever they wanted to. But Paul and Silas was like, no, let's get all of the prisoners and put them in one room. So that's exactly what Paul and Silas did. They got all the prisoners, collected them into one room and left them there. But all of a sudden, the soldier who was supposed to be watching them came down and they, the, the soldier, he saw that there was no one in the in the prison rooms. So he was really sad because he was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my job because he thought that the prisoners had just escaped. But that was not the case. Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas had collected all the prisoners and put them in one room. Okay, but this, this soldier did not know that. So this soldier was about to hurt himself. He was going to hurt himself, but Paul and Silas stopped him and said, Hey, don't hurt yourself. Because guess what? We have all the prisoners in one room. So the soldier went to go look at all the prisoners that Paul and Silas had collected and he was like oh my gosh you saved my job and that's when he noticed that there was something different about Paul and Silas because anyone could have left the prison anyone could have left and no one would have known what had happened and you could have been free but Paul and Silas said no that's not the right thing to do so when the soldier saw that he knew there was something different do you guys think that when we're walking around and when we're being kind to others and loving people that they can see that we're different? Yeah, people can tell when you have God's love because you act different than everyone around you. And that's exactly what Paul and Silas acted like. So the soldier told him, why are you guys like this? Please tell me more because he knew there was something different. And so the soldier brought Paul and Silas into his house and they talked about the Lord and the soldier and his family accepted God and they were now believers just like Paul and Silas. So Paul and Silas helped the soldier 
and then the soldier helped them by bringing them into their house and then him and his family accepted the Lord. Isn't that so amazing? They accepted God because they saw what an example Paul and Silas were. So do you think maybe if we're good examples and we're, we're, when we're a shining light to God, do you think people know that? That we are God's children? Yeah, people know that we're different because we have the fruits of the Spirit in us. So... Whenever someone asks us, hey, why do you act different? Why are you, why are you like this? Why are you like that? We say, God, because God is the only one who can change us. He's the only one that can change anyone on this earth. And he can do anything, just like he did with the prison walls and just like he did with the prisoners and the soldier, he did that. So let's remember to be shining lights for Christ so that people know that we have the Holy Spirit in us, okay? Okay, let's pray out our lesson. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes and thank God. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this lesson. Thank you for always keeping us safe. Please help us be shining lights, Lord, and help us share the good news with others. Please help us love on everyone, Lord, and be kind. In your name we pray. Amen. I hope you guys had a really good time and remember to be shining lights for him. To my toes.